All right, so now let's uh, go through some uh, great examples. So again, it's very important to learn um, date visualization from uh, those great different uh, uh, designing examples. So first, let's look at some infographics. So we have heard infographics a lot uh, recently. So but what is an infographic? Uh, so this is one definition that uh, infographics is a tool that for designer to communicate with readers and also a tool for readers to analyze what is being presented to them. OK. Um, so infographics are typically static images, either in print or as high resolution online graphics. OK, so here this is a infographics describing what is an infographic. OK, we have data, we orange organize uh, data, arrange the data and also present it visually. Uh, so normally, the infographics are designed as both art and also communication. OK, uh, so this is also another example that infographics has become a standard form of communication. But they also has been designed as an art. OK, so this is the infographics talking about vacation data. OK, so they have example about United States. And after you get familiar with interpreting the data in United States, so it's easier for you to understand uh, the vacations in other countries. OK, so this is a very short description. And we can look at the details of other countries. So it's, it's really like an art. OK, so very nice. And this is a network visualization, OK, showing the politicians um, that how they are using Twitter. And next week, we will also move on to visualize the network. And we will also use the Twitter data. OK, so here's another one that uh, who is coming to United States. OK, uh, you can see that this is a, a flag of the United States and uh, combined with a flag from different other countries. OK, so here is another one that um, breaking the glass uh, ceilings. So women in business so that uh, that women taking the GMAT and also the highest paid CEOs. OK. And this graphics um, is filled with information and also deep annotation layer. OK. You can see here it has a lot of annotations. OK, and this one is showing the growth in prison population. OK, and you notice the beautiful use of the colors and also chart types. OK, so here uh, they also choose a slope graph from 2007 to 2010. And each line is a country. And the chart on the right hand side shows each country using these those same two points in time. OK. And uh, this is uh, what they call the, the discussion axis. So a visualization, a, a visualization axis, so a visualization that has originality okay, and novelty. OK, it's more hard to understand. However, the visualization have a lot of redundancies and uh, something that are familiar with the public are more easier to understand. OK, so those are kind of balance that we need to consider in creating visual data visualizations. Uh, so this is the infographics that with a number of issues. So you can pause the video here and also think about what are those issues. OK. So for example, the use of color, so you can see. Um, and also everything that uh, crammed into this 
uh, infographics, so there's no white space. And there's also issue of using the number of the men, so that the uh, 35.8 million is shown with 10 little men, and also 39.5 million is shown with 22 little men. Okay. And the gas pump has also very small increase. Okay, in the petroleum consumptions, but shows a larger increase. Uh, on the size and the bubble size okay and the first those visualization those charts are not recommended and also those are uh, not accurate okay and also the size of cars uh, do not match the date increase okay so those are some problem and also you can see the other problem of the infographics um, this shows the different size of the spacecraft in science fiction movies. Okay, I think this is has very use, simple use of colors and designs for a large uh, set of data. So I, I really like this one. And also, infographics are often designed in a tall layout. So I guess that is because that people are using cell phones, so they can screw down and also view those. Uh, uh, infographics. Okay, so you can view that from top to the middle. Okay, and also to the bottom. Okay, all right. So let's see some other uh, great uh, design examples. Uh, so this is an example that uh, done by Jeff Schaffer. Okay, so this was created for the Tableau Iron visualization competition okay and you can see this is like a resume of the uh, of the author where we can see uh, the educations okay and the positions and also year of the date uh, activities okay and about half of the visualization so shows variance uh, music concert uh, he performed on. Okay, and the last side shows uh, icons and also big numbers for the various date points he tracked. Okay, example like the number of emails, assignments graded, text message received. Okay, and he said he took his inspiration from another visualization that is this one. So this is the visualization that uh, called no bell, no degrees. Okay, so this visualization uh, is a winner of the shows the winner of the Nobel prizes in different categories, and this visualization also win the top prize and the information is beautiful award. Okay, so let's see what uh, the author of this visualization talking about. This okay. visualization. Uh, so you can uh, read more about, you can watch more about videos on the link that are provi provided. So here, this is a visualization. So that is a, a no bell, no degrees. Okay, uh, so they also play pianos and also is inspired by the various forms of the musical notations. Okay, so some of those music forms don't look like the traditional music, but they are. And this visualization shows the Nobel Prize by categories. So the dots represent the age okay, of the winners, and the color represents uh, the average, the color lines reps are, are the average age by the category. So the dot line is, uh, and the dot line here is the overall average. Okay, so that overall average, and that's average in each category. Okay, so you can notice the colors, okay, are very beautiful, and those are natural colors, so use great for the uh, cat categoric data, and also works pretty well with the background. 
and the female winners have a pink circle around the dot. Okay, and the bar chart on the right side shows degree levels of the winners. We can see that chemistry, economics, and the physics have PhD degrees, but literature has distribution of the degrees. And also, uh, the, the also also show the distribution of those degrees to the major universities. Okay, and also bottom shows the major cities that the winner came from. Okay, we can see the Paris in the early 20th centuries and moving to New York by the uh, 2006, uh, 19, 1960s. Okay, and here is a, a great annotation layer offering interesting notes about winners. Okay, so the youngest, the oldest, and also two siblings. Okay, they are also color coded to match the Nobel category. Okay, and here this is uh, on the top this is a very detailed how to read section. So outlines of all the little details uh, throughout this visualization. Okay, so now you can see that why this one has won the, uh, the gold medal award from the information is beautiful. Okay, so let's see other uh, visualizations. So this one shows the Google takedown requests and you can see the use of colors and also careful decision on the chart types using a dot plot to show the um, magnitude and also the scale of the takedown request and also the area chart okay and um, that shows on the bottom showing the request over time and this is uh, a visualization that uh, called the felton report that is designed by felton uh, so this is from 2008 Eight, uh, eight showing the distance and uh, the author traveled that year throughout different methods and you can see the use of colors just three simple colors and also use of the font contract okay with large medium and also small fonts okay that report inspired this web analytic dashboard okay so a very similar use of colors and also font contrast so when we create visualizations we can when we find out another very great visualization we like we can borrow those designs that from their web visualization so we cannot borrow the data but we can borrow the design like how they what color they used what font they used what layout they used and we can use those design elements in our own data visualization. Okay, so this is from 2007, okay, uh, where the Felton plots the path he traveled on the map, a very simple use of color and also font contracts. And also compare that to this one, so the font was specifically chosen uh, to give weight to the dashboard title and also big numbers. Okay, and also color is also used to highlight the current rating period for the selected professor. Okay, and this sentiment dashboard shows a Twitter sentiment. Okay, for some of the big banks, the sentiment is showing on a scale from one uh, to 10. And we can see that sentiment is mostly negative but some banks uh, have more than others. Okay, two colors are used to show the negative and also positive sentiment. And the histogram on the top shows the distribu distribution of the sentiment rating scales. And the dot plot shows each individual ra rating that offers a tool tip uh, so that you can show the individual tweet. Okay. And this is the complaint dashboard shows the open and also close complaints over com complaints over the time. So complaint com 
closed, complaints are in blue, and those opens are in orange. Okay, and you can see the stacked bar chart that open co complaints are on the bottom, which allows for very precise comparison, okay, from month to month. And the hex map of the US also is a um, interactive uh, uh, filter. Okay, and the bar chart at the bottom separate the open and also closed complaints provide more details of the reasons. Okay, so this what if dashboard also has a very similar design. So notice the use of color again. Blue is used for the minimal wage and gray is above minimal wage. And color is used consistently throughout the dashboard. And this is a productive dashboard shows various metrics over time using a line chart. So it is designed to a grid but uh, has a very similar use of color and also good font contract. And this dashboard is used as a planning tool for, skill, uh, for, for unscheduled care. So the dot plot uses three, four colors to outline and the, in the legend at the bottom. And an entire three month period is shown for each patient in the display. Okay, so the patterns are very easy to identify. For example, that's the example of the patient uh, 27. Okay, and versus the patient uh, 152. Okay. And this is also another uh, dashboard. Okay, so this also has a three month calendar view on the top, shows the utilization for each day. And the calendar is used as a filter to filter the rest of the dashboard. So once the day is selected, each operating room is shown, which use three colors. Okay, gray shows a scheduled time and oh, narrow bars blue for accurate scheduling and also orange for inaccurate scheduling. And this one is uh, shows it also has a lot of interactive features so that color is used to show the regions of the country. OK, nearly everything on this dashboard is interactive. So if you click in, if you click icons on the top, the bar chart or even a body part Okay, of the human beings uh, will act as a filter for this dashboard that makes this analysis rich and also users can explore various expert aspects of the worker compensation claims. Okay, so here is a, uh, the more detail so that on the left, the view of the entire body, on the right, uh, it is a filter to the wrist, hand, and also finger injuries, that bar chart for the nature of the injuries, and also male, female, and then filters based on the body part selection. 